Hello everybody, this is part 7 on how to make a shooter game in Scratch. If you haven't seen parts 1 through 6 yet, then make sure to check it out, a uh, link is in the description below. Anyways, in this tutorial, I will hopefully finish up the in-game shop by adding the machine gun upgrades. Let's start by fixing this arrow here, as it doesn't really work when I try to click on it. So if we go to our arrow, then let's clone this wait until not mouse down block and put it after the set shop screen to 1. Now if we try again, then the arrow should work like this. Now as you see here, I don't have the machine gun upgrades, as when I go to the machine gun, then it's still the pistol upgrades, but I will add the upgrades later in the video. Now uh, for the pistol upgrade icons, I'm gonna make this code a bit cleaner because right now it looks like a mess. So I'm gonna create a block, and call it, let's just say, um, cost. Actually, I'll name it upgrade, so, yeah. Upgrade, oops. And then I'll go to options here, and then add a label text, and I will add a number input. And I'll just call this label text cost, and the number input will also be called cost. So the label text doesn't actually do anything, but it's just for us to know, while this cost variable here will be useful. So let's click OK. And then now, let's drag all of the code inside of the if clone number equals 1 into the block. And let me take this one out for one second. And now let's actually uh, go to data, and then drag the clone number variable into the set description to block here because the number of your description is always going to be the same as the clone number. So this is more efficient. And as you see here, we have our purple cost variable here, right? Let's drag that into the set cost to block here. And actually, I don't even need the cost variable, so I'll just take it out. And I will replace all of these orange cost variables with this purple cost variable. So let me take these out and then drag this in. Also this one. And also change cash by the purple cost variable times negative 1. So now let's grab our block and drag it into this if clone equals 1 if statement. And by the way, uh, this clone number 1 was actually the faster firing upgrade and the cost of that was 50. So let's put 50 into the cost. And now let's run it. So when we enter the shop, okay. You can see, you can hover over it fine, and when you click on it, then you successfully bought it. So my money went from 100 to 50. So yeah. Now, because of this, we don't need all of this code for my other clone numbers. So for our clone number 2, let's uh, put this aside, and then let's drag our if clone number equals 2 back inside of the if statement. And then let's drag our upgrade cost. And as you see here, our cost was 100. So let's type in 100 here, and we should be good. However, this code runs the same for both of these two clones, except for the cost, of course. But it won't really work for the second clone, because after you click on it, it's also going to change pistol firing speed by negative 0.1, which we only want by the first clone. So we need to add an if-else statement. Let's go to control, and then drag an if-else statement. And if clone number is equal to 1, then you want to change pistol firing speed by negative 0.1. Otherwise, you want the clone number 2's upgrade, which is, if you scroll down here, set damage equal to pistol damage. So let's drag that into here, the else. Now let's drag these two blocks here back into the if statement. And now we have our updated block right here. So now, if we try it, then the faster firing upgrade should work. If we try it, then the player shoots a bit faster. And if we try it again, let's try the increased bullet damage upgrade. And it works too. I think. Let me try. And yep, it works. So yeah. Now we can take out all of this in here. And let's do the same for the third clone. So let's put this aside, and then drag our block, and the cost is going to be 75, 
because this cost is 75. And then let's clone this if else statement in here and take out these two blocks inside. Then let's replace the one with a two and drag the set damage to pistol damage inside of here. Now let's drag this inside of the else of the if else statement. And right now it does the exact same thing, but we're just adding room for one more clone. And now we have an extra space for our third clone. So let's drag the change pistol knockback by 1.5 into the else statement and now we should be good we can now delete this so now let's try again let's try the increased knockback upgrade so when we click on it then it works and the zombies are knocked back a bit so yeah that's good now our code is much much cleaner and yeah it's more easier to understand now Oh yeah, uh, one more thing, I need to drag the if clone number equals 3 into here. So go to control, and then grab an if statement, grab an equals, and then grab a clone number equals to 3. Now we can work on our upgrades for the machine gun. We're still going to have uh, 3 clones, but we're going to create an additional costume for each clone. So let's go to our costumes, and let's duplicate these 3 costumes. So duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. So I'm gonna be lazy here and only have the machine gun have one different upgrade than the pistol. So that is gonna be this one. And I'm gonna change it into something like more accurate bullets. So yeah, I'll start drawing the costume. And I am done. This is gonna be my accuracy upgrade for the machine gun. Now let's go back to our scripts. And if you remember, we have this description upgrade from the arrow here. Actually, I mean shop screen, sorry. We have this shop screen upgrade from this arrow here. And that's going to be useful for us. So let's go back to our upgrade icons. And we want to switch costume to clone number over here. Uh, plus the shop screen times 3. Which is the total amount of clones we have. So I'm going to put 3 here and then drag shop screen into here, and then put this whole equation into here. Now let's put this back into the switch costume to block right here. Now since three is the total amount of clones we have, I'm gonna make it more understandable by putting the three into a variable. So I'll create a new variable, call it total, um, total number of clones, and then click okay. And I'm gonna drag a for loop I mean repeat loop, sorry, um, repeat loop, and just replace the set clone numbers to with uh, change clone numbers, change clone number by one, and then create clone myself, and also change total number of clones by one. Let's also set that to zero at the beginning, and repeat three times, because we're going to create three clones, right? And actually, I'm going to take out the change total number of clones and set the number at the beginning. So we have three clones, so I'm going to set that to three, and then drag total number of clones inside of the repeat loop. So what this does is that it literally just repeats three times, because total number of clones is three. And I did this because later if you wanted to have like four clones on a shop screen, you would just change the total number of clones by four, and it would create four clones for you. So now let's drag total number of clones inside of this 3 and it becomes this right here. Let's also make the shop screen in the arrow sprite start at 0 instead of 1 and also change the set shop screen to 0 and also change this if shop screen equals to to 1 and now this should be good. This may seem a bit confusing right now but I'll explain it to you later. And I know this is not going to work right now, but I'm just going to test it. So let's go to our shop. And, okay, this is at the machine gun. Um, Alright, um, change the numbers in this right here to uh, 0 and 1 instead of 1 and 2. So now this should be better. So yeah. 
Actually, uh, let's just switch that back to 2 and 1, sorry. Um, yeah, so 1 and 2. And then just add 1 in the switch costume to shop screen. So just put that into the plus 1. And do the same for the one below. And now let's test it out. We have our shop. And let's try going to machine gun. And okay, so it works the same as before. And now we want our machine gun upgrade icons to appear on the machine gun um, shop screen, which are these three right here. And I'm just going to actually make these two icons different than the pistol gun upgrade icons, just so I know it works. So I'm just going to paint these like red for, uh, for right now. So yeah. Now I think let's also set the clone number actually to this equation right here and that might be easier so let me just test it um okay all right it works i think why is this not working um all right so hmm all right so let's actually add one to the description and now this should work yeah okay and now the descriptions work properly. And now let's test the machine gun. Okay, it doesn't work yet. So we need to show the upgrades for the machine gun when we press the arrow. So let me explain it to you right now because it's sort of confusing, all right? So we have our shop screen variable. And right now, when the green flag is clicked, then it starts at zero. And it's also zero when we are at the pistol upgrades page right here. And then shop screen becomes one after we go to the machine gun upgrades page and goes back to zero when we go back to the pistol upgrades page. So pretty much pistol upgrades page is shop screen equals zero and machine gun upgrades page shop screen equals one. And for our equation here, right here, when we go to our pistol upgrades page, we have our clones 1, 2, and 3. That's our total number of clones. And each clone has their clone number set to their clone number, and then plus the shop screen, which is 0, multiplied by 3, which is the total number of clones. And that means they add 0, because their shop screen is 0, and 0 multiplied by anything is still 0. So for the clones with the clone numbers 1, 2, and 3, it switches costume to costumes 1, 2, and 3, because that's their clone number. So it switches costume to this, which is 1, this, which is 2, and this, which is 3. And now for the machine gun upgrades, when I click the arrow, shop screen becomes 1. And now their clone number is equal to their own clone number, plus 1, which is the shop screen right now, times 3, which is the total number of clones. The upgrade clone number one, which would be right here of the pistol screen, were to be switched to the machine gun upgrades. The clone number would become one, which is its own clone number, plus three. So and then it would switch costume to four, which is right here. And that's what we want. And I did this equation here because it works no matter how high your shop screen is. So if you want like upgrades for 10 guns and you want 10 different pages, right? Then it would still work properly. Now let's have the different upgrades for the machine gun. So, oh yeah, uh, first of all, let's duplicate this set clone block and then put it inside of the forever loop because you want that constantly checking. And now let's grab an if else statement and drag this clone number equals one into the if statement and the upgrade cost inside of the if statement and then put it back then let's grab an if statement copy this here and then replace the clone number equals one with four because as i said earlier it's the upgrade for the machine gun the first one over here so now let's duplicate this again and let's change the upgrade cost to like maybe 75 and now we need to create a new description for this new clone so let's go to our description sprite, go to costumes, 
and then duplicate I'll duplicate this one and I'll change the cost to 75 because that's what it wanted it to be and now the description should show so let me try it and nope not really okay oh yeah um, also add the switch costume to clone number inside of the forever loop and this should work all right not really um all right, let's uh, create a new variable, call it original clone number, and then click for the sprite only, and then click OK. And let's set the original clone number to zero. So we're pretty much replacing the clone number variable at the start with this uh, original clone number variable. So let's change this to original clone number, and then let's only change these two clone number variables to original clone number and now I think this should work so we have our pistol and now we have our machine gun icons so the error I had was that since the clone number kept adding on to itself plus the shop screen times total number of clones the number would permanently increase and that would cause the icons to spaz out so yeah now this is good, and we have our icons for the machine gun. I'm just going to switch the icons back to the original, and yeah. So we only have this one changed, the knockback one to the accuracy. So now for the description, as you see here, it also works. So since the clone number right now of this icon here is 4, the description would also be 4 when you hover over it. So yeah, now let's go back to our icon and do the same for the other icons. So replace the if statement with an if else. And then copy this. Change the clone number to 5. And the clone number here is going to be the increased damage upgrade. And I'll make that like 200 because this upgrade's pretty good. So yeah, let's also do the same for the last one, clone number equals 3. Replace that with an if else. And change the clone number equals 5 to, to clone number equals 6. And this one's going to be the accuracy one, so I'm going to make it like also 75. So yeah. Now, if you see the value of the clone numbers in these if-else statement checks, then it should be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's because we have 6 icons total. Because as you see here, we have 1, 2, 3, and then machine gun icons, 4, 5, 6. And yeah, we don't have the descriptions for them yet, so let's add them. And I will copy this one. And I'll create one more copy and then change this to 200 and then change this to um, increased accuracy I will center this and change the cost to 75 and let's test it out we have these three for the pistol and when we switch pages, we have the machine gun upgrades with these descriptions. So it works. And let me try buying one, actually. And you can actually buy it, but it doesn't actually do anything to your player right now. But we pretty much have the shop done, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe too if you haven't already. Now that we're really close to finishing the shop, we can focus on the in-game aspects in future episodes. Anyways, that's it for this video. See ya!